Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee. I know, I am on a roll. <laughs> so I put up a poll on Instagram yesterday. Yes, that is right. Yesterday, last night to be even more specific. And asked you guys if you wanted to see my bronzer collection or concealers. About 75-80% of you said bronzers. So that is what we are going to look into today in these drawers. By the way, not wearing nails. I threw on a few bracelets just, just for you. Just for you. So, also, before I get started, I also want to let you know that there's going to be a quick little giveaway. I, it is of no surprise, and those of you who know me or have been with me for any length of time, you A, know that I do a lot of giveaways, and B, that Hula Benefit. This is a big box that was actually sent to me um, for PR quite a while ago. I just hold on to things like that. They mean a lot to me. Benefit was actually one of the first brands to reach out to me. I believe when I had around 30,000 on Instagram which is Seattle MUA, Renee, by the way, in case you didn't know, now you know. And so, yeah, I've been working with them for years. I just love them. I mean, their packaging and then just their brand in general. They're just, they're just absolutely amazing. So anyways, I will say that there will be a hula going to someone. And then I also have this brand new Makeup Forever. It's technically, I guess, would be considered a contour powder, but it's a sculpting powder. So there will be two winners. And basically, all you need to do is watch this video, give it a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram with and leave a comment below with your Instagram handle name and what your favorite bronzer is. So, also, I would love to know, I have laid out kind of my contour kits and my favorite brushes. So, I was thinking I could also do a little quick video on my faves. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, I did want to give a special shout out to these brushes. This is from Benefit. I believe they still have it. It came with the Hula, but this brush is just one of the softest brushes I have ever had on my face. And I mean, my face has had a lot of bronzers on it. <laughs> that that almost sounds dirty, but it's not. So yeah, I love, I love this one. And we're talking bronzing. So not necessarily contouring. I wouldn't contour with this. I would actually contour with something more like this. This is the MAC 163, by the way. But I have pretty uh, pronounced cheekbones thanks to my European mutt heritage. So I have to be careful contouring. If I do it too harsh, I start to uh, be looking more on the masculine side. So that's never good. I mean, I, I don't like it for myself. Uh, the other brush that I really, really love for bronzing, and you can kind of make a little bit of a more sculpted look, but also just blends out really, really well, is this Tarte 
brush. I just, I love the concept of it. And I mean, go figure, of course, they're both kind of bamboo-ish. So let's get into the bronzers. I am warning you guys, I have a few. So I have tried to group them into, um, I have one as, let's see if it's, yep. So also same situation as last video. This drawer insert organizer is from Sunny Cosmetics. I will leave a link below with their website and I am an affiliate with them. So you can use my code if you want to save a little bit of money. If you don't, then that's fine too. Just thought I'd throw that out there in case you guys uh, wanted it. So here are my kind of more high-end, par partially luxury, partially mid-range Sephora. Of course, I love the Too Faced bronzers. My favorite is the, the leopard one. I, you know, I wish I had more hands, but we're doing this video with my cell phone because my camera is actually out for delivery, guys, for delivery. So it's coming in today, but you know, there's going to be a learning curve. So um, this one, as you can tell, has been loved. It was actually one of, uh, this is a repurchase. But I, I have gone through one of those. Absolutely love it. So this is the pink leopard. It just gives a nice sheen to it. Uh, the other one that I would definitely recommend is the... Eh. <laughs> That's not what it's called. That's my weird noise that I make when I'm trying to open something. <laughs> This is the 16 hour wear bronzer. So this is more of a matte bronzer, but it definitely does last longer. So I do love that one, obviously. Then I have the Sweetie Pie, this Chanel bronzer is, um, I haven't used it yet, you guys, just being real, but that is this one. It's more of a, you know, obviously contouring, blushing type, but when you combine them, when I saw the swatches of it, it just looked beautiful. So this Tom Ford obviously is bougie and extra, and no, no one needs Tom Ford bronzers, but I, oh, oh shit. I hopefully did not break it because that would really suck. Oh man, you guys, I'm just having all kinds of trouble. Like, oh my gosh, this just, Tom does not want me to have this bronzer or something, but as you can see, I've used it. I actually really, really love this. So this is the color Bronze Age 01. It's definitely more warm toned than it is neutral or, um, you know, contoury. So it gives more of that sun-kissed, I've been to the sun and spent some time out there rather than your, I just want to look sculpted kind of look, if that makes any sense. Anastasia, I love this one too. This is Saddle, and this bronzer, just the formula of this one is just, it looks really dark here, but the way it blends out is just absolutely stunning. So finely milled and just gorgeous. Of course, on my hands, I just put on lotion, so it's a little 
little patchy, but not in real life. When you get it on your cheeks, it is absolutely stunning. So that is a saddle. And then the Tarte Hotel Heiress, that's been around quite a while. I have a Kevin Aquan, a YSL. This one has uh, not been used either, but I've heard great things. I just, I have so much trouble when it comes to like designer ones that have especially patterns like this because I know that as soon as I use it, I'm going to ruin the YSL and that will be a very sad day in history for me. So then we have, these are also amazing too. These uh, Makeup Forever, I have the one in, oh, oh, oh my gosh, someone call the police. I have a case of the dropsies today. I mean, I always do. And then this is the Pro Sculpting Duo that has the bronzer and then the gold highlighter on it. Man, you guys, what was I thinking? Thinking that I could do this with one hand. <clears throat> the Guerlain, these should be easier to open. It, it looks dark here, and I'm not gonna lie, it is darker than some of the others that I've shown you, but it just has such a beautiful, beautiful finish to it where it actually looks like you've spent time in the sun. So this is the bronzing powder in the color four. And then I have another one that's more of the multi-patterned ones. So this adds kind of more of a flushed look when you combine them all together. It just... It just does something amazing. Of course, you can't really see it on my arm very well. But yeah, I mean, that doesn't that doesn't look all that fantastic. But I promise you, on the cheeks, absolutely stunning. So this is 3 Brunette. This newer Becca one, I love this one too. I got the shade Bronzed Bondi. I should have opened these, like, had them all open. So, anyways, yeah, can't open that. This Dior, I will admit, this is yet another one. In fact, this might be the last one as far as ones that I haven't used yet. And you will see why I haven't used this one yet. I mean, isn't that just stunning? This was limited edition. I'm not sure if it's still available anymore, but I will look into it if you guys are interested. So back here, Smashbox, of course, have MAC. I know I have Golden and Refined Golden. So we have one that has, you know, Shimmer, just all your options, and then Give Me Sun, which is my favorite for MAC bronzers. And honestly, I, I'm i not going to say it's a dupe of the Tom Ford because that's, that's stretching it. But I will say that it kind of gives the same effect to where it's a warm bronze. And, um, whoa, sorry about that. Hope that I didn't make you guys dizzy with today's video. But yeah, this is just, I would highly recommend Gimme Sun. It's actually, whoa, it's very dirty, but it's a mineralized skin finish. So it's very finely milled, easy to blend, just all around fantastic bronzer. And then I know I have Laguna and then Casino in the newer formula, which I actually love more. Okay, these Urban Decay, huh, love these. So I have Sunkissed and Bronzed. Bronzed is the one that I would definitely recommend 
for basically any skin tone. Light, medium, these bronzers just blend so well. Urban Decay, I don't know how you did it, but you did it. And, I mean, it just, it can't get any better than having palm trees on the packaging for bronzer either. Know that Hula and then this Fenty has become my new bronzer bestie. I know this is the shade Island Ting, and I actually also put it in my June slash summer favorites video, which I'll link somewhere around, you know, on here. But I just love these bronzers. I want to get a, another shade because this formula Riri just went and did the damn thing. This is old. I do not believe that Victoria's Secret unfortunately does not make like they make lipsticks now and glosses but not so much as far as a full makeup line. But I did, and I still do, love this bronzer, Lactic, which for me, they sell at my local Rite Aid. So uh, check your drugstores. If not, you can order it online. But this is the bronzer in Cabo. And when you look at it, it looks like it's very light. But... It actually even works for my skin tone. I'm probably I, about NC30 to 35 in MAC, and I can make this work for me. So I would definitely recommend this one for sure. If you're looking for something, you know, more drugstore-ish and you have a lighter skin tone, highly recommend Prolactic in Cabo. And it is a matte bronzer, though. If you want a little bit of shimmer in your life, definitely go for the Balm, the Betty Luminizer. I'm sure you guys all know about Mary Lou, which is the highlighting one. But this is uh, Betty. Isn't that what I said? What's her name? Yeah, Betty. Her name's Betty. And she has just a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's very finely milled. It's not glittery. It just adds a really nice sheen to it. So love this one. And then, of course, this is a lighter shade. So if you're on the lighter end of the spectrum, and Bahama Mama is just a wee bit deeper and a wee bit more on the contour uh, gray side of the spectrum. And I actually gave to one of my girlfriends, but the NYX blush, uh, I think it's in taupe. Um, I definitely would recommend that if you're looking for something from the drugstore that's affordable that is more of this shade and not as warm for contouring, bronzing, stuff like that. I have a Kylie bronzer that is way too dark for me. <laughs> this is uh, actually from a tanning salon and uh, I have a Sephora one. This is my other favorite drugstore bronzer and they did make more shades now um so this is just the regular bronzer i know they did make a deep i know they made a lighter one so no matter what your skin tone is definitely check out these physician formula butter bronzers they're just it's just like the other bronzers that I love. Very finely milled, very easy to blend. This does have like a light coconut scent to it. If you're really sensitive to smells, you might not appreciate that. But if you like coconuts and you like bronzers, then it's for you. 
Then I have the Too Faced bronzer. This is more of a bronzer with a little bit of a sheen to it. And now, so this is the other item that is going to be given away. So one of you guys will get this new. You can tell that, in fact, I will show you the regular size. So Benefit was sweet enough to customize and make me my own hula with my name on it, which I believe now you can pay extra. At least it, they did have it. If you really want your name on a bronzer, you might still have that chance. But I am also giving away, so we have the Makeup Forever and then this ginormous limited edition giant size it was sent to me in PR so but it is obviously you can tell it is not at all used still in plastic so yes just remember to follow me on Instagram be subscribed like this video leave your Instagram handle name and your favorite bronzer. These are very old and I know that they're not available anymore. And then I have this Gavinci. This Marc Jacobs, which I've shown you guys before in other videos. This is more of a contour, I guess, kit, you could say. And obviously, I love that uh, highlighting, brightening shade. So this is the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter. So love that. And then I have a It Cosmetics, the Lorac Tantalizer. These Milani bronzers, if they're still available, I actually really love these. And I will say also these ones. This L'Oreal, these Glam Bronze ones are so good. This is the shade O2 uh, Medium. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, as you can tell there, but not at all glittery. Just a nice sheen. Also, these Wet and Wild contour ones. I'm not going to say that they're a dupe for the Marc Jacobs, but on a budget, I just feel like this is probably the best for contouring on a budget. You just, they're just absolutely, it's a really good formula. Uh, back here, a bronzer that I've just held on to, Victoria's Secret. Jane, which is a drugstore brand. I remember my friend and I had these Jane bronzers. They didn't look this pretty in high school. But, yeah, they've, they've really uh, upped their cuteness in packaging. So then I have some more Physicians Formula ones that just wouldn't fit in there. More Physicians Formula. These are some of their older ones, but I think they're still available. These were limited edition at Paris and uh, New York. These are also really good if you're on a budget and you're wanting to bronze. This one is actually my favorite, kind of in a similar way to the Here Lane ones. They just blend really well together. I love this one. If they still have these, these are good. The Maybelline Dream Sun. I haven't tried this one yet. I recently got it, so I'm anxious to try that out from Soap and Glory. So yeah, oh, this is one of the newer Hula shades. So this is Hula Caramel. They also made a Hula Deep. So, oh, mine's kind of a mess. But, 
So this is Pula Caramel, just a little bit deeper and a little bit warmer than the OG Pula. I'm not a huge cream bronzer or even cream contour person. I just prefer powder. I'll give you a bronzer if you actually watch this video. So with all that being said, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my makeup obsessed heart for your love and support. And the next video, I will be in like my my face and stuff not not just one hand opening and dropping products so yeah i love you guys have a great day have a great night and i will talk at you later <laughs>